and welcome to my channel. This is my very first video that I'm making. I'm so excited. I'm Rosie. I've been on Instagram for quite some time now and I did this look a while back. After I posted it, I got so many questions from people on Instagram asking me how I do this glossy look and so I decided to come up with this sunset smoky glossy look um, and also paired with kind of a wet skin look. I hope that you all enjoy it and don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support means everything to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Okay, so I'm back. I've done my face and this eye off camera. did a little bit of contouring. As you can see, it's still matte. I haven't made it glossy yet because I want to show you guys what it looks like matte because they can work either way. But you know me, I love my gloss. So let me just jump ahead. I've already prepped this eye with right here. Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, my favourite thing to prep with. And now I'm going in with this this Z palette um, with Makeup Geek Shadows. I think I'm going to run through my crease right here. All of these shadows are Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to run through and this is a Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush and I'm going to bring this up really quite high up in here because it obviously is a very dramatic look. It's over the top. I know it's not for everyone but it's all about the drama so I just really wanted to amp it up. And I'm going in with this shade right here. This is Spice. This is a Morphe Brushes um, shadow. By layering the light orange and the deeper orange on top of each other, it has that sunset effect that you get from the sunset. <laughs> so the next color I'm going in with is this color from the Lime Crime Venus palette. I love this palette. Honestly, the colors blend so beautifully. Um, and I'm going to be using... This colour right here called Rebirth. I don't know what this brush is called, I'm sorry. I got it from makeup school and they don't have numbers or anything on them, so sorry. Okay, so I'm going to be concentrating this kind of coral colour right kind of on top or just under the orange. Um, it kind of just intensifies it almost. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Now I'm going in with... Muse. So as you can see now, all those colours are kind of really peeping through and that's what it's all about with a smoky eye with this. Yeah, it's just all about the layers and transitions. And once again, I'm going to be going in with this Lux Crease Brush by Zoeva that has the existing orange shade on it. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that Rebirth again to make it all seamless. And I'm going back in with the Chickadee. It's more of like a yellow orange. It's very yellow based and that's what I like about it because it makes it really look like a sunset. By Morphe Brushes and it is again um, a deep maroon shade and it's much deeper than Muse um, so that's why I'm using it as you can see it's a lot deeper and I'm going to go in with the sides like that really working it in work it okay so that's what I have so far now I'm going to go in with the purple so, I'm actually using this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and it is in Chianti, Chianti, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry. And, yeah, it's a liquid lip, giving you all the finger. <laughs>
Okay, now that I'm happy with the purple on there, I'm going to actually go in with an eyeshadow that is purple over the top to make it pop and to blend in with everything else. And I'm going in with Kat Von D's Metal Matte Palette. It's so pretty. And look how huge this is. Look at the color selection. So the first shade I'm using is this ribbon color right here. It's a nice purple color. And I'm concentrating that into my crease. So now I'm going back in with this colour right here, the Secretive by Morphe Brushes and going to put that into my crease just to really blend the purple in with it. Okay, so that is pretty much done for the top of my lid. I'm going to go back in with this that I only had, I think it was Peach Smoothie on and just to really like blend everything in together. That's a really seamless blend. Never stop blending. Okay. So now with this brush again right here that I've been using Chickadee with, um, I'm going to be running that along the bottom by multi brushes again. I'm running that all along the bottom of my uh, lash line. And using news again. Okay, now that I'm done with news, I'm going to go back in with secretive. Intensify that. Blend. Blend, blend. Now I'm going to use this Inglot Cold Pencil. O2 doesn't really have a name, but it's purple, so. And again with the Chianti or Chianti um, liquid lip, I'm gonna get a brush right here. This is the DM2 O2 Angle Liner. And just line my lash line with that. Okay, and now I'm going to highlight. Again, I'm using a Zoeva brush. This is the Smoky Shader, but I'm using it to highlight. And once again with the um, Venus palette, and I'm using the color Aura. And I am highlighting my brow bone. And yeah, I am aware that it makes me look like a drag queen, but I love it, so.
and in the inner corner as well to really brighten it up. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight my face. So I'm using my fave, uh, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics um, Champagne Glow Palette. I love it so much and I'm going to be using this brush right here which is a furless brush and I'm going to be going in with Prosecco Pop because I love it. Now I'm going in with a little bit of uh, Champagne Pop and going over this area. And look, I'm going for a wet look today. Like, this is intense, I know. Doing my nose. I'm going to spritz my face using the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So fancy. Again, I will reiterate. Oh, I just got some of that rose water in my mouth. <laughs> Tastes nice. I will re reiterate that this is a very wet-looking face look because it's going to go with the glossy lids. So, of course, you can stop right here, but I'm going to go in with the gloss because I love gloss. If you follow me on Instagram, it's quite controversial. Some people hate it. A lot of people love it. I love it. I just think it's so gorgeous, so editorial. So I just use padding motions to add a big glob on there and now I'm going to just kind of blend it out. Just going back onto what's on my hand. I think it's best to use synthetic when using gloss and I'm just going to kind of put that in the inner corner because I can't really get in there precisely because my nails are seal up. <laughs> on it to apply underneath on my lower lash line. That's my neighbour revving his Chevrolet engine. Great! <laughs> I've done one layer, I'm going to go in with another. I always get asked on Instagram, how do you make it look so glossy? And honestly, this costs $3. $3 from Priceline. So you don't have to spend big, you don't have to use any, you know, just go to your local drugstore and see what they've got. Just experiment. I usually use um, an Inglot Sleeks lip gloss, but I've run out of that, so it's onto this one. And I actually really like it. And the way that I get it so glossy is by applying two layers. So I'm going in with my second one. I'm going to go onto my lips, and I'm just going to use this again. Sticking with that really glossy, wet look. And I love glossy lids. And lips. Um, thank you so much to everyone that suggested that I do this look right here on Instagram. I'm finally getting around to it and I'm so excited. I hope that you all enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. And don't forget to like and subscribe.